it never gets old how people can just think they can always just say something about your weight. So I'm very, oh, no, 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 honey. No, no, no. Reluctant with white jeans, so I wanted to kind of try them. And it has neon green oh. accents that I've been really into working out lately, so definitely gonna When I was a lot thinner, when I was like a size like 14, 16, yep. I'm like an 18, 20 now, mostly. <laughs> Well, hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Good. So I really appreciate y'all coming back and seeing part two of the series of how Alex Rodriguez went on a pretty much circle, another cycle with her weight loss. So last week, we took a look at 2018 and 2019 when Alex thought she was just the fattest person in the world. But in essence, she was thinner than she was at any other point. So this today's video, we are going to start off in 2020. So listen, the pandemic, I think, did a number on Alex. I think it did a number on me, did a number on my kids. It was not a good time for anybody, okay? So you can really start to see the weight ramp up. So um, let's take a look at what she was up to and, um, you know, see if we can learn more about her. Okay, so now we are at April 14th, 2020. So about um, five months after the last video. So listen, the pandemic fucked everybody up. I know it fucked me up. So, um, I mean, I didn't gain a crazy amount of weight, but I definitely haven't lost weight since 2020. So, um, but let's see... Alex's spiral even downward. Okay. Q&A, weight gain, wedding planning during a pandemic, and more. Yeah, I didn't realize she like just got married. Um, she had been dating her husband, though, it seems like for a few months, I guess, or a few years. I'm not sure, but I was just surprised that she literally just got married. Interesting. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So... Yeah, you can see a striking difference, right? So, I, I, like I said, I get it. The pandemic sucked. It was hard for us all, but damn. Happy Easter. When I'm filming this, it's Easter. So, because I'm spent... Dude, this brings back so many bad memories. <laughs> I'll never forget. So, Easter, I had to work for an online company doing whatever online and um it was easter sunday and i had to work which nobody was happy about but it had to be an alone easter basically it was just you know the four family members my mom couldn't come over at this point we hadn't seen my mom in like two months um this was just a miserable 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 time <laughs> Spending, obviously, this Easter quarantined at home, I thought we could just hang out, do a Q&A on ye old Insta. I baked yep. some homemade sugar cookies, homemade from scratch, oh. which I've been- uh, Homemade them. <laughs> never done before, and they actually came out pretty good. So I have a bunch of- I love her hair color. I wish I could have that hair color. Icings here. Can't They're pull really it off. cute designs. I have these little carrots. Look how cute they are. How cute. So I thought we could just hang out and I'm gonna I'm gonna decor. I wonder who she had to murder to get those uh, icings. Because if I recall correctly, you could not get any baked goods back then. These cookies. Or baking supplies rather. And do a QA. I'm excited. This is a fun little moment. I'm gonna put a camera on me doing the cookies and then just like leave the camera here because I don't know. So I asked you guys on Instagram, like I said, if you guys ever want to like participate in these, follow me on Insta. Mm -hmm. I also never wear my hair straight and I like never know what to do with it. Like do I just, like do you just let it like sit here? Yeah. Like, well, do I tuck it? Like when you're baking, you put it up. <laughs> I know. 
but I'm aggressive right now. Aggressive. From C Bruise, would you still go back in time and do laser lipo again? I'm considering doing it, but I'm scared. Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room. <laughs> My double chin. Ooh, let's okay. do a little butterfly. Well, it's not just the double chin, but, uh, you know, so having a lot of weight here is quite dangerous and also the midsection where she has it because it's near your major organs but here especially because she most likely has sleep apnea so cute so years ago when I was a lot thinner when I was like a size like 14 16 yep. I'm like an 18 20 now mostly a 20 in most stores I, um do we believe that <laughs> I had lost a lot of weight which I've now gained back just called life. I decided to get laser lipo on my double chin. My double chin is back now. Like it's back. It's thriving. It's better than ever. Um, because I gained weight back. So the whole thing is it came back because I gained weight and I was kind of under the impression when I did it, you can watch all these vlogs, by the way, if you want to look them up, they're still on my channel. Wait, I was kind of under the impression that like the double chin would never come back. And they were like, when those fat cells are gone, like they'll never come back there. And like lies all lies like that's just not true and I wish I had been educated on that um, but obviously I didn't anticipate like gaining all of my weight back so I had weighed this and much so. and then I lost you know a bunch of weight and now I'm back to where I was so am I hard on myself about it sometimes well honestly I think this this is one of the higher weights she is in this little series we're looking at um, not not the highest because the highest is right before she gets uh, weight loss surgery, which we're gonna see. Um, it's really hard not to be when I'm a public figure and I face criticism every single day from like endless people online. It's really hard. It's really hard. Again, I've said this once. I've said this a thousand times. When you put yourself online and your major source of income is to talk about yourself. Yeah. You're opening yourself up to criticism. I'm sorry. Like I get criticism too. So, I mean, you know, sticks and stones, baby. Um, and I definitely get down on myself. It sucks to like see comments every day of like, Oh my God, like I haven't seen her this heavy in like a long time. Mm. Like it just, it sucks. It can really, really eat. All right. I actually started my channel when I was at my finished slash after losing a lot of weight. So people have never seen me at this size I am now, which I've been before in the past. All right, well, we'll have to take her word for it because, um, yeah, I, I don't, maybe I didn't go back that far. I don't know. That your self-esteem and, you know, I shared my laser lipo. Oh, this butterfly is just really really tragic it's just tragic let's just nope okay <laughs> i shared my laser lipo journey online and uh so naturally like you guys know about it and like having mm -hmm. like full-blown double chin again people criticize a lot and i just i get down on myself because it sucks like it was a waste of money it was a waste of time but at the same time i have to just let go of that feeling yeah. and remember that life happens like life happens life does happen i gained my weight back I am working on being the healthiest, happy version of myself. I am trying to get to a really healthy place. I feel she's only going to gain weight from here, guys. I feel very healthy. I'm working on myself. Oh my God, I've been rambling. I'm so sorry. The bottom line is, would I go back and do the laser lipo again? Um, probably not. Yeah. Simply because I gained my weight back. And yeah, I'm sure it wasn't cheap. And I still have no chin because I gained that weight back. You just never know where life's going to take you, though. Like, there's just no point. Because you just don't know where life's going to take you. I don't know. If you're not going to gain weight and you're not prone to weight gain, maybe it's for you. Um, but I'm just embracing myself the way I am. Yeah. I'm over it. I yeah. gained my weight back. I love myself. I'm working on myself. No, um, you're not. <laughs> and I try not to let comments every day get me down. And I try to still love myself through that because it literally... I get questions all the time like, how do you deal with trolls? How do you deal with the hate on the internet? And it's it's hard. And I'm really thankful I have like a strong support system, but it's um, it's taxing and it's tiring. And it really beats on my soul a lot of the time. Okay, then she could find another another job. So again, people like her. Actually, I think she'd be good at this. Consulting, man. 
You know, nobody wants to hear, you know, be coached about YouTube by somebody who failed. I mean, she's still doing pretty well. She's got over 500 subs. I'm not sure how many thousand, uh, tens of thousands of views she gets, but um, she's still doing pretty well. But you can't take the heat. Get out of the kitchen. I, I know that's... No, you know what? I'm not apologizing. This is my thoughts. This is my opinion. And I'm not going to soften things because softening, in my opinion, helps no one. But you have to find that inner strength and self-love inside of you because if you let it consume you. True. So this next clip was back in her learning to be fearless days. She didn't really do much with that, did she? Square MM, what made you start your fearless journey? What was the turning point? So honestly, this channel has really pushed me to want to be more fearless. I started this channel almost 10 years ago. And I remember I started it because I was watching other plus size girls on YouTube, like doing outfit of the days, like Sarah Ray Vargas, Trisha Paytas. Those were the first couple of plus size women I saw on YouTube. Okay. And they just gave me so much confidence, like seeing them so fashionable and confident and like just yeah I wish I had that back when I was a kid maybe things would have turned out differently I don't know to have this like aura of like feeling their selves um, it just really yeah but it's guys this is like personal television it's acting <laughs> He stuck with me yeah. and I, it instilled that in me and like I wanted to help other girls through that because I've never felt that in my whole life. I was always... Okay, guys. She wants to help other girls. Don't listen to her. I'm sorry because she does this whole body positivity, love yourself, which obviously love yourself. Okay. But this isn't helpful. She doesn't want to hear what other people have to say and you're going to see what happens really insecure like it's so funny if you ask anyone from when I was younger like how was I before this everyone still to this day people are like I can't believe how different you are I was the most timid shy insecure child and young adult um until I was like 20 hmm. um and that was yeah in part with like going on YouTube and watching YouTube and like doing YouTube. Yeah, I will say this does build confidence and anybody out there thinking about doing it, just do it. I mean, it's okay. You don't have to get a huge following. Um, if you do want to make money, you need at least a thousand subscribers and then everything else is, uh, you know, just cake. It's just nice to have people to talk to online. Too, because these women gave me so much confidence. I'm like, I want to do this for other people too. Oh God! And then I just slowly started to come out of my shell more. And I'm like, I want to be fearless. I want to be like the best person I can be. Like I want to, I want to be strong. I want to be confident. I want to just like, this is my one life. I want to own it and like kick ass. <laughs> and I want you guys to feel like that too. So that was my fearless start or my journey or whatever I guess and sharing so much on this channel has been so scary because like you're so vulnerable but at the end of the day that's vulnerable. how I'm learning to be fearless because I want you guys to know that like this is life this is, is my life it's like what we're all going through we're all going through similar trouble and it's hard true. times and yes yeah. I guess that's that's it <laughs> Okay, so this is December 6th, 2020. And um, so we're still kind of, well, I think things were coming back. I think you were allowed to go into stores, but you definitely had to wear a mask all the time. So obviously she had just uh, come back from McDonald's. So um, in this video, she's gonna address her weight gain. And again, guys, it only goes up from here. I'm just replying to some comments on today's episode of Vlogmas That Went Up while I wait in this line. Hi, um, can I please get the bacon egg bites? Yeah, these are actually my favorite, the bacon egg bites. <laughs> but she's in line for Starbucks. Okay. Perfect, would you like anything else? Um, and do you have any Christmas cake pops? <laughs> we have a snowman cake pop. I'll get a snowman cake pop. <laughs> Perfect, would you like anything else? No, thank you. 
Yeah, I don't know if she got a drink or not. I just had to have a festive little moment. I really appreciate all the comments about um, balance when I went to Sonic the other day. So, you know, it's not all about weight for me. I just, I started my health journey back in the spring um, because I wasn't feeling good anymore. Um, yes. I never had... This will be a common theme to her. This is her way of placating the fat activists as well as, you know, hey, got to do something about my health here. I had like shame in my body or like felt unworthy or not unsexy. Like I still thought I was like the shit. But my knees were starting to hurt when I went upstairs. You'll hear this I, again. like could barely catch my breath going upstairs. Mm. I was feeling lethargic. I just wasn't feeling good. So um, that's what really put me into this mindset of like, I just want to feel healthy again. I don't think you have to be skinny to be healthy. But I started this health journey back in like March or April. I cannot remember back in the spring. Um, and I've lost almost 40 pounds since then. I don't talk about the number too much because I don't think it's all about the number. So I've done. Yeah, she'll talk about it later because she lost that weight and then she gained 70. I've talked about this before. This is like very vulnerable to talk about, obviously, but I want to talk about it because it's real life and I want you to know that you're not alone. We um, know. If you're going through something similar, you know. All you have to do is turn on the internet and yeah, they'll be in your face. And once you start watching one body positivity video, a million more will hit your suggested videos. Over the last several years, I gained a hundred pounds. Yeah. Gained a hundred pounds. So she's going to now talk about the trauma she had. So again, I'm going to assume it was the relationship that she's going to talk about because I mean, she made videos steadily during these years that she gained a hundred pounds. Like we've seen them. Um, because of a really dark time in my life. Yeah, what, what does that I mean? I was going through some really toxic stuff and I emotionally ate throughout that time and over those years. So, so guys, I, I get it, emotional eating, but you've got to come up with coping mechanisms that don't include food because let me tell you, life is always going to throw something bad at you. Trust me, I know, I've been there. I you know, put on a hundred pounds. And <clears throat> even before I had gained the hundred pounds, I I'd still consider myself like plus size, curvy, whatever you yeah, want to call 14, it. 14, 16. Um, definitely not like skinny, but I felt really healthy. Like I worked out, I felt good. Like I just felt healthy and strong and good. And oh my God, the snow is stunning. It's like a thick <laughs> like the thick snowflakes are stunning. Um, so I don't know. All of a sudden, just this spring, I was just like kind of just sick of not feeling good anymore. And like I was just ready to kind of take my health back. And how I've been doing this health journey and why it's working for me and why I feel like it's sustainable and why I feel like this is for life um, is because it's all about balance. Oh, yes. This is the first time I'm like truly having balance with food, like a very healthy balance in my- Okay, yeah, sure. It works, guys, intuitive eating. This is what happens when you intuitively eat. The relationship with food is the best it's ever been. And that's why I love WW. If it's not for you, that's so <laughs> fine. I do not believe in diet- I mean, she actually did lose, uh, listen, 40 pounds is great. 40 pounds is fantastic, but you know, with Weight Watchers, I refuse to call it WW, sorry. But, um, yeah, I mean, I found myself yo-yo awning, yo-yo awning on it, too, so, the Culture, trust me, I have done Jenny Craig, I have done all, all, like, the most toxic, toxic diets. Okay. And the reason why I like the new WW so much is because... It's really taught me how to have balance. Yeah. And I'm s balance. still able to have, you know, Sonic. <laughs> I'm still able no, guys. to like no. have dinner out and I still make all my favorite foods in a point friendly way and I'm able to lose weight from it. And again, mm -hmm. not saying you have to lose weight to be healthy. Yes, I you do. I okay. Listen, kids who are watching. 
when you get to a certain point, I'm not saying a size 14, 16, you have to lose weight to be healthy. I don't care what you show on TikTok or YouTube or you jumping around. You have to lose the weight first. You're only hurting yourself actually when you work out so hard and you're, you know, pushing, she's going to be, she's going to talk about it. She's pushing 400 pounds. So, so if she actually, so if she lost 40 and gained 70, so she must be at about 330. I think she had to have been north of 300 pounds in this. I mean, I don't know how tall she is, but, um, I mean, she looks pretty good. She carries her weight, though, in her midsection and her face. But I, I would have never guessed she's north of 300 pounds here. I don't think there's a weight unhealthy. I think it's, everyone's kind of just different, no. you know. But I just love... No, there's a certain point where you're unhealthy. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. It just is. The balance of WW. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I can't stop looking at this pretty snow. <laughs> Let me turn you guys around so you can see how pretty the snow is. So you're like, Alex, there's a reason I'm looking at the snow. I hope it's translating on camera. Do you see those like thick snowflakes? They're so pretty. Anyway, I'm sorry for the little rant. I just want you guys to know that like, you're beautiful and worthy the way you are. I'm just- Very true. Really appreciative for the support that I've been getting because I do fully believe love yourself through it all. Like yeah. again, even when I was like 100 pounds heavier, 100 pounds lighter, you gotta think you are the hottest baddie in the room. So, I, I mean, I'm going to guess she's talking about when she's a kid because the videos I'm showing you in, these, in this series, definitely she's just been going up. At all times. At all times, baby girl. That's what it's all about. But um, I just wasn't feeling good. You know, we're talking about kids coming up and I just, mm. I want to be uh, the, in the best health I can possibly be, you know? Yeesh. Yeesh. Pulling a Michael Scott. Yeesh. Ergo, I'm saying this because I can fit a cake pop into my points today <laughs> and enjoy Good my cake you. pop. <laughs> so, Good for balance, you. baby, balance. So, here we have Alex on January 12th of 2021. So this is just a few months after the last video we watched. And you can see she's, she's put on a considerable amount of weight. I would actually say that this is the biggest weight gain jump that she has. I mean, she's still beautiful, guys. I mean, she's gorgeous. There's, you can't say anything else. But, you know, the weight is going to start to get alarming. Because I bet you she was probably around 350 here. Maybe... I don't know, maybe 320. I don't know. I don't know how tall she is again. If you guys know how tall she is, let me know. We're thinking. Oh, this one. Let's wrap up on this one. So um, we're going to talk about body positivity again. And yeah. So it says, you are not certain where you fit into body positivity. Health and weight loss is still body positivity. Yeah, exactly. It sure is. But that's not what certain people of the movement want you to believe. You are not certain where you fit into body positivity. Health and weight loss is still body positivity. Uh, it's tough. It's tough. Um, I feel like I have been kind of exiled from the body positive community, to be honest. Why? And th that's something really vulnerable for me to talk about. Um, I She got canceled by the Bopos? I have talked about it briefly before, back when I was kind of starting my health uh, journey <laughs> last year. Her weight gain journey. You know, I, I share most of my life. Like, there are very few things that I keep private from you guys. And at first, when I had started back on WW and, like, getting back into my health and fitness, I was afraid to talk about it because I thought that I'd be shamed. I knew I'd be shamed for it. You know, this is what's fucked up about the body positivity movement. Why should someone be shamed for working on themselves the way they want to and to make themselves healthy and less of a burden on society as a whole? 
what is wrong with these people? And it, and we see this in other places. It's like you embrace one thing, that means you have to damn another thing. Why can't we all just get along? Jeez. Um, because of, you know, diet culture. And trust me, I've had my fill of diet culture. When okay. I was young, I was on Jenny Craig, which was oh. so toxic, just all processed, frozen food. Like, I'm not going to go on a rant, but I do WW because it helps me actually consume yeah. healthier foods yeah. and make healthier options, and I never feel limited. It just helps me eat better. That works for me. I know it's not for everyone, but as someone who's been stuck in diet culture their whole fat life, WW is not like that at all, in my opinion. Okay. They're like new brand. I don't know what the old brand was like. I've only had experience with it's. It's the same. It's just that Oprah bought the company and Weight Watchers is demeaning, so they just changed it to WW. I mean, they always tweak like the point system or whatever, but the point system has been around there decades so um no it hasn't changed much this and it works for me regardless of that um it's it's a, a weird realm to be in because i believe that you should love yourself through it all even Obviously. in the hard moments even when i was gaining 100 pounds like it was hard it's all it's not it's hard to look at yourself in the mirror every single day and say I love you. It's hard, but it takes body positivity takes work. Self-love takes work to look in the mirror and love yourself. Guys, uh, you know, I'm going to stop her right here. I just don't get this whole self-love thing. I I just don't get it. I do not understand. Obviously, you love yourself. Okay? Um what is hating yourself all about? I I just I just don't get it. I, I, I don't know. And why is it so important? You know, you hate your body. Yeah, welcome to America. I mean, whatever. Regardless, no matter what. And I feel like that's finally where I'm at. Like, I am constantly reminding myself that, like, I am worthy, I am beautiful. and I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like me. Her eyelashes are messed up here, too. Not every day is going to be easy. Not every day is going to be filled with that self-love. Of course. But it's something that you're always going to have to strive towards. And I absolutely, in my in my world, I believe that you can be body positive and want to work on your health. <laughs> but the thing that I always stress is if you are going to work on your health and lose weight, or if you want to lose weight, you have to love yourself at the start of that journey, Ugh. during the journey, okay. after the journey. I love myself. Okay, cool. There are some people that lose weight um, or get plastic surgery or whatever and still don't love themselves. You need to love yourself in every single moment. And So maybe she's, maybe what this really self-love is sort of like waking up each day, putting some makeup on, you know, putting nice clothes on, just showing outwardly that you're okay, no matter what your weight if you're working on it, hopefully, you know. If you want to work on your health, it's got to be for the right reasons. And if you want to lose weight in a healthy way, I don't think you should be shamed for it. But like, I still... Yeah, you see? Why, why do people shame for... It's just... This is such a fucked up movement. It's, it's just ridiculous. Personally, I'm afraid to say it. <laughs> I feel like I, in my heart, am body positive because I'm choosing to love myself every day. Mm, even okay. when... I gain a bunch of weight even when I oh. am trying to lose weight to feel better. I just want to feel good and I want to love myself through every... Well, okay. So she wants to feel good. I mean, she looks good. She's, like I said, a beautiful person and she does a great job on her makeup. She is. ...stage, which is what I'm constantly striving for. When I started sharing that, I saw a few people talk negatively about me for you know, promoting diet culture in their eyes. And oh my God. as I said, that's, that's my feelings. On you know, honestly, I think the whole BOPO movement really ramped up in 2020 when we were all on lockdown and people had nothing else to complain about. I don't know. Well, that's not true. We had a million things to complain about back then. Um, yeah. Oh, I never want to go back that way. <laughs> on WW, that's my feelings on wanting to work on your health. Uh, 
I think you just have to love yourself through it all. Okay, so here we have Ms. Rodriguez at um, March 8th, 2021. I mean, she's starting to put it on here, but, um, you know, I would definitely say if she was preparing for weight loss surgery, because a lot of people take some a good six months to a year. I mean, she's really going to bloom upwards. So I don't really understand how she got weight loss surgery, but she's going to talk about it. But today she's telling her truth. So let's hear what she's got to say. Um, today I just want to have a heart to heart conversation with you um, and talk about some stuff that's been weighing pretty heavy on my chest. Um, I just, I've never known if I should address how I'm feeling or I feel like lately I've been trying to just like push it, push it aside, push it aside, focus on the positive. But lately, like this space, this channel has become really negative for my mental health mm. and I'm trying to like take care of myself. And I just, okay. I just want to talk about Great. some things. Um, you know, this actually only makes the negativity worse, but oh well. I mean, you have to kind of keep plugging forward, keep doing, keep making the films your audience wants to see. Obviously, she has an audience that likes her spending money and showing hauls. I would stay with that and just keep plowing. So I feel like this channel needs some healing right now. Um, and I have, a, I have a lot I want to talk about. So first and foremost, I've been on YouTube for almost 10 years now. And I have shared so, so, so much of my life. I've shared the ups and downs with my weight. I have shared the behind the scenes with um, like school and following your heart. Apparently she went to college for like a week. So, okay, that's whatever. You know, back when I started this channel, I was literally like um, in college for something totally different. I followed my heart and went you to cosmetology have. school. And oh, that would have been great. I mean, ew. Guys, YouTube isn't forever. I, I mean, it just, it's just not, you know. Do you think people are going to want to watch her at 45, you know, hauling stuff from Target and trying clothes on? I don't know. We'll see. I fell in love with it and, like, preached following your heart. I've always just shared so much of my life. And, mm -hmm. unfortunately, as, as much as it's helped a lot of people from what messages I get every day, that means the world. It's also brought a lot of hard stuff to my life just because, you know, when you share more, you're more more vulnerable and it gives people more ammunition to, you know, critique you. <laughs> it opens you up to more judgment. And it's something that has been really, really hard not to talk about, but also I didn't want to have to talk about it. I wanted to keep something to myself. But I get it. I've shared so, so much of my life. You know, when I don't share every little thing anymore, I feel like people get upset and make assumptions. And then it just yeah, spirals. And, like, I just feel like the hate has gotten just out of control in this channel. And, like, I've kept my heart in this. Good. But I just, like, I didn't want to talk about this. Because this what I'm about to tell you has been really, really hard on the internet for me. I, I have, I've watched this, but I can't remember what she's building up to, but this better be sp fantastic. <laughs> Cause we're two minutes and 24 seconds in and she hasn't said anything yet. So obviously a lot of people have kind of figured it out and I didn't want to talk about it because it's, it's embarrassing, <laughs> honestly. Like when I was younger on this channel, I would always preach about loving the fupa, embracing uh, oh. the lower tummy. Okay, this is the tummy tuck one. Um, I guess she had to go um, public with this because people were looking at her videos and wondering how she got so, like how her belly got so skinny. And, um, you know, I guess she gave the people the assumption that it was diet and exercise when she got one of those, um, I think they call them plus size tummy tucks. I'm not sure. 
not being afraid to wear high-waisted jeans and crop tops with them, right? And that's something I always stood by. And I ended up having some problems with my lower stomach. Okay. So if you have watched this channel, you know that she probably my did fluctuated up and down, up and down, up and down. Because you guys see it, it's out there. You know, when I started YouTube, I was like 70 pounds lighter than I am right now. And my weight's always fluctuated. And my lower stomach, it's not just fat, it was also a lot of skin. Skin. Oh, yeah, I believe it. And unfortunately, I started, it's just like, it just sucks that I have to share this. I almost feel like I'm being bullied into sharing this. Oh my God. But like, I, I owe an explanation because this was something that I was so passionate about, like you embracing. Do. Because it's, it's very, so when you put yourself out there and you start showing, you know, your body and you become, you know, you're trying to get in on the body positivity train. It's not fair to people. It's, it's misleading. And a lot of these people who watch you are younger women. It's just a bad look. Your lower tummy, because I know we all got lower tummies, but ultimately I started developing problems with my lower tummy because it had a lot of loose skin a lot of fat okay. and underneath I started developing infections with like all the moisture. I couldn't, I couldn't keep it dry. I couldn't keep it clean. I was developing problems. This no, video is really, it. really hard for me to make and talk about. And I just, I just want to clean the slate because I don't want to be known as a liar and not <laughs> telling you guys about it. Like I, I see the comments every day about it and I'm just like, because I know people are just going to think I'm lying. I know people are just going to assume that it was because I hated it. It caused me so many problems, like to literally the point where I asked my doctor, I'm like, can we just get rid of it? Like it was just constant, constant. Like I just could not get the issues under control with it. Like it was literally so raw and itchy and sore like all the time. And I was very insecure about it. See, what would have been awesome is if she talked about it beforehand and explained, you know, so this way she put it out there. She can talk about it once. Now people know why she looks so much better. Okay. You know, a lot of times people want to hear, like, I would never think about getting a tummy tuck. I've never even heard about it till this. Um, when you're this weight, I, you know, I thought that was only reserved for people who were, you know, near goal weight or at goal weight. So to me, it's interesting. And I think her viewers would have appreciated her coming forward instead of her trying to hide it. Not even the way it looked, but like the way it felt, the way it smelled. Like I was just having problems. I was having so many problems with it. And I asked my doctor, I'm like, look, like, what's the solution? By the way, this is the reason why fat people get accused of smelling bad because I hate to say it. I agree with her. It, it can smell. Yeah. You're like, is it possible to get this removed? Like, is this considered a tummy tuck? Like, what is this? After trying like medicines, creams, every over the counter product, every like drug product from the doctor, like it was just giving me enough problems where I looked into getting my lower stomach removed. Yeah. Yes. I had it removed. Was it? last year you know um and i think this is going to be another waste of money surgery because obviously it grew back the year before i don't know it's 2021 now but um i didn't share it i didn't want to share it because i knew that this made me made me look like a hip wait wait a minute she got a tummy tuck during the pandemic how I thought they weren't doing stuff back then. I don't know. Maybe they kind of opened back up later in the year, but huh. Hypocrit. And for the longest time, I was like, I shouldn't do this because, you know, I preach loving, loving your fuba, <laughs> loving your lower tummy. Mm -mm. Um, I don't know about that. Genuinely, it was just causing me so many problems, so many problems. And I came to this point where I thought to myself, like, hey, this is something I really want to do for myself. Like if you have a lower tummy, you might understand how it can get. Mine yeah. just got so severe. Right. But and, and we would appreciate that beforehand. Yep. Be honest. If you're going to be honest, be honest. Also, I have a couple friends with like the same lower stomach and they didn't have these problems. I don't know. I'm very sensitive, but nonetheless, I came to the point where I was. By the way, 
I think that right before she had hers, I think Sarah Ray Vargas had the same thing. But um, she's a totally different person, uh, you know. But apparently what I was reading is Sarah Ray Vargas had problems too, so I don't know. I was thinking to myself, like, hey, this is something you really want to do. Like, are you going to not do it because the Internet's going to judge you? Like, or are you going to do something for yourself that you really want to do for okay. yourself? I decided to do it's it. Public figure. Um, and it's helped me very, very much. Okay. I don't have any of those issues anymore. I, like, just it just feels so much better for me personally, physically. My doctor co-signed it. Um, I had a really great experience. You know, I didn't have, like, a tummy tuck where they, like, pull it really tight and, like, tighten your abs. Like, no. Like, literally, it was just to get rid of the flap so I could heal underneath. And um, that's that's a huge secret. That's the big secret. Like, I just, like, I I never wanted to share this, but um, you I should get have. why people were upset that I didn't. Because yeah? Because I do share so much online. I always have. Um, well, if you're body positivity and you're talking about loving your body and then one day you have a huge fupa and the next day you don't, you you got to explain it to people. I'm, I'm sorry, but that's the way the world works. Um, You're a public you figure. Know, now that I'm moving in the direction of having kids and getting older. Battle for like, her. Suffering mentally. Like, my mental health has not been well. So, like, okay, how come every creator I watch has mental health issues? I mean... Look, I get it. I have them. I'm one of those creators. Hey, what do you know? It's just weird. I don't know. When the going gets tough, the tough gets blaming mental illness. Okay. And I know a lot of people are confused because, you know, my channel is going kind of in a different... It's like they say they have a mental illness, so all of a sudden you're not allowed to discuss or judge their behavior well you're putting yourself out there you're getting the youtube coin i'm trying for the same thing i'm trying to help people too so mental illness or not i'm gonna pa i'm gonna call out bad behavior from direction like i don't think i want to share as much with vlogs right now right chill yeah this she'll go back on this in just a few months don't worry Right now, I don't know what the future holds, but mentally, I, I think I just need to, like, take a step back from vlogging, and I'll still be posting content, because I genuinely love making videos and taking pictures, and, you know, through it all, you know, and, like, literally, I started sharing my weight loss journey, and because I got so open and vulnerable with it, when I wasn't losing weight fast enough or looking different fast enough and getting hated on for that, I in turn Ugh. started stress eating again. Yeah, and I, okay, she gained more, a lot more weight here, yep. And I'm not losing any more weight. I've been just like stuck for months. This is like the last time I'm ever gonna talk about it. Okay, that's, <laughs> that, that's a lie. <laughs> I shouldn't say ever, like at least for now. Okay. It's like the last time I'm gonna talk about like weight. Okay. Food. I might share some recipes maybe, but ultimately I, part of me wishes I never even opened that door and just like did it myself. So yeah, but you need it for the content. So you have to show yourself eating uh, sometimes, trying clothes on, you know, it's your body. You're showing off your body. And if you change it artificially, you deserve to let people know. So I don't know how she thought she wasn't going to get caught. I, I just don't get it. And I also feel like there's this, this whole, this video is so, so vulnerable right now. Like I'm like literally just like shaking. I'm so nervous right now because I've thought about filming this and like, I'm so, I'm so afraid of like being thankful for it. Uh, I really, really am. And I hope me talking about having my excess lower stomach removed doesn't make you hate me. I hope it okay. doesn't. Okay. Okay. Go, go on. Because it feels uh, scary to share this. <laughs> and um, now you know.
Okay. Hey guys, oh my gosh, I've sat down to film this now like four times and I am nervous. I'm having a hard time articulating all the things that are on my heart. Of course. I'm just gonna talk to you guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk to you guys because that that's how I started my channel. That's what I built this channel on, just talking to you and being vulnerable with you. So let's be vulnerable. <laughs> um, okay, as you can tell by the title of this, I am having gastric bypass surgery. When you're watching this,